In this video, we will have a demonstration wherein we would upload or insert records from CSV to Azure SQL table using Azure Data Factory. So this is our Data Factory instance which we will be using for the demonstration. Apart from that, I have created a SQL Server instance in Azure. So this is Azure SQL Pass instance. And in this SQL instance, I have a demo database. And in this database, we'll be inserting the record into a table. Now, which record we are going to insert? The records are available in the CSV, which is uploaded to the Azure container because container is Azure container is the source data set which we'll be using to upload the record to the SQL Server. And this is my organization CSV where we have 100 records for this organization and the structure of the csv looks like this let me just preview it so this is the structure of the organization csv file where we have these columns and these records so in total there are 100 records which i would like to insert into a sql server now i'm using the azure data studio to connect to the sql server on my local machine and this is the organization table of I have created inside the SQL Server and it is matching the same structure from the number of columns point of view what we have it in the CSV. Now let's go back to our ADF instance where we will create the pipeline to insert a record from this CSV to the SQL Server table. Before that let me actually run the select star from the query just to make sure that we whether we have the number of records in this table already present or not. So at the moment, you can see that there are no records available in this table, which means that the table is empty. So I'll be creating the pipeline in the ADF. So to create a pipeline, I'll go to the author and from these three dots, I'll click on new pipeline. So that will give me a canvas board to create a new pipeline. I'll use the copy data activity because you would like to move the data from Azure storage account or CSV file to the SQL Server. So in this case, I'll define my source data set as in Azure data blob, blob data storage. So I'll be choosing this Azure blob storage. And then the file delimiter is the text delimited text type is the file delimiter. So source as in CSV, source blob CSV and the link service. I'm going to use the link service which we have created, which will connect to this source storage account. Now I can click on the browse so that it will use the linked service to connect to the storage account container which is our input container and will point to a CSV file which we want to upload. So this is the CSV file which we want to upload. So I'll click select this file and click on OK. So that's going to point this my data set will point to this CSV file. So let's click on OK. So my source data is ready. I can click on this preview option so that will preview the data which is there on the CSV. So that's the same preview what we have seen in the Azure Blob Storage. Now let's define the sync. In this case, of course, we want to insert a record into a SQL Server. So sync should be of SQL Server type. By now, in any of the, our demonstration, we have used the sync as an Azure Blob Storage. This is the first time I'm creating a sync which is of type Azure SQL. So I'm going to select this Azure SQL database. I'll give it a name as in TS SQL organization table. Define the link service. There are no link service which can point to the SQL server. So I'm going to define a new link service which can point to the SQL server. We're going to call it as a link service DS LS SQL, which will point to our demo database. And then I'm going to use the auto resolve integration runtime, which is Azure Manage SQL Server, Azure Manage Integration Runtime. From the subscription, I'll choose the subscription and then from the SQL Server, I'll choose the SQL Server name. Database name, I'm going to use the demo database. That is where we have our table. Now here I'm going to specify the SQL Server, Azure SQL Server username. So let me just copy the username from here. So that's the username, the password, I'll draw the password. I can test the connection right now, just to make sure the connection is available or not. Yes, it is available. So our target SQL Server table or SQL Server link is created, link is ready. Now you can specify the table name. So this is our table name. So I'm going to specify the table name here. So both sync 
and source both of them are ready now let's validate our pipeline so pipeline is validated successfully which means that we are ready to run the pipeline just to revise our pipeline will pick up a file from this source location which is pointing to a specific location as you can see the definition it is pointing to this specific file next it will target to this SQL server instance and it will create a record there so I'm going to depict that <coughs> so for now these remaining option I'm going to keep it as is that is something we'll have a look at in the separate demonstration so let's debug our pipeline just to make sure that we are getting the expected output or not so the pipeline is succeeded and we can see that it is it has read 100 record it has write, written 100 record if i go back to our sql server yes and then if i run the same query select top thousand and that will display all the thousand hundred record from the table and we can see that our records are successfully inserted from the CSV to a SQL Server. So finally, we can publish the changes or we can publish the pipeline if we want to. And then whatever many, uh, whichever number of time we would like to run these pipeline, we can run it as in trigger like we have seen in the previous videos as well. So that is all, that's all in this demonstration. So just to summarize, we have learned how do we use a CSV file as in source and insert the record of the CSV file into a SQL server as in destination with the help of copy data activity using Azure Data Factory pipeline. I hope you have found this useful. If it is, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.